Say hi. Yeah, you have to say hi, Ati, when I tell her to say hi. You want to say hi? Say like, hi, Daddy. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Trying to stay consistent with you guys is hard, but we're trying. What's up? Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> the hell was that? Class dojo. Road. <laughs> this is not a death free journey update. This is not a... much has changed since we did the previous. We are lower, obviously, because mo another month has passed. Well, we haven't paid it yet. Since the last video, yeah. Yeah. We made another payment since the last video. Every month feels the same. <laughs> um, so, but to give you guys a little update on our live, our lives. Lives. Um, Babe has, getting, has been getting a lot of work photography wise, so we've been bombarded. So if we were busy before, we're really busy now. Um, usually when he does make uh, pictures, I'm doing the makeup. So this is the first weekend we have like to ourselves, like both days. Usually we either have photography on one of the Saturday or Sunday, or we had photography both days. So this was the first weekend that we didn't have any photography, but babe worked yesterday, today, right. Sunday. I work my regular job. And then today I was editing all day. Right, so it's been like back and forth. It's been very tough. Remember the last video? If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Our update um, for the Jeffrey journey, where I said I was gonna go to the gym, even on Saturdays. She's been crushing it in bed. Like. Can't tell. <laughs> yeah I just I need to stop it, it's very unrealistic for me right now at this moment is very unrealistic and we actually maybe before Christmas we were going to the gym regularly um on during the week like after work maybe two twice or three times during the week um and we just had to stop like we just had to like yeah, totally my, my gym schedule stop sucks. it right now because there's just too much going on there's and we have to be realistic with ourselves and you know we all want to be healthy and active and i like that i like to do that but it's not realistic and i was getting very overwhelmed i'm pretty sure you were feeling overwhelmed i am overwhelmed and so we haven't been going to the gym like that because it's either babe is editing i have to pick up the kids i have to think about what we're gonna feed the kids when we go come home then on the weekends we're doing photography we're doing makeup editing work nine to five eight to four it's too it's like, much going on right now it sucks because when i'm in the gym like i like the gym obviously but i don't know these past few months has been like do i go to the gym or do i take advantage of the two to three hours i have after work to expand my knowledge on creating videos, creating photography, photos, learning the art of photography. And it's paid off, I ain't gonna lie. I've gained pounds. Um, but like my issue is not like when I'm in the gym, like I know what to do, it's go time and I get it done. The issue right now is getting there and trying to balance whether I further my career or I go to the gym. One and a half to two hours, because at the time I go, it's, it's rush hours, packed, train. It's, it's hard. It is. It's a lot of things going on. Yeah. So there's a lot of things going on, and but since we've been uh, very involved in the photography world lately, and um, the personal makeup artist, the assistant photographer, and all of this, without a um, self talk. Yeah, I need I need a raise, babe. Okay, I can't be doing makeup and doing assisting. It's, it's, you have to choose. 
Now I gotta hire employees. <laughs> so since we've been in this world um, pretty often now, we were having a conversation a couple weeks ago about where Babe wants to focus, what, what direction, what direction he wants to take with his photography, and. I don't know, no. <laughs> we do the photography right now in our house. We turned our living room into a studio. If you haven't seen previous videos, um, go ahead, take a look back, and you'll see we turned our living room into our studio. So, sometimes <laughs> we, well, most of the time, we take the kids to my mom's house, and she's the one that takes care of them while we're doing photography. But sometimes they're just in the room and we'll have somebody here looking. So our photography... Um, Sorry I keep yawning. The kind... It's late. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zena, don't touch. The kind of photography... Um, well, how do I put this, coño? I don't know. So you have event photographers, right? You have... I don't I mean, want to offend anybody because that's not the point. No, of I'm just trying trying to explain like the types of photography because sometimes people will say like, "Oh, you're a photographer, like come do this," and it's not. It's totally different. Like somebody who, let's say, shoots newborn photography, you can't book them to go shoot a real estate mansion because they're probably not gonna know what to do um, because camera settings, everything is just totally different. Um, so they, they probably could, they can tell you yes if they want to make that extra money. Yeah, but. so somebody who's chasing, who does photography or, or is a photographer, just a freelance photographer, and doesn't and just does it for the money, they don't really have a niche. Yeah, or maybe they don't even have a passion for photography. They just know that photography you can make quick cash because somebody's <laughs> gonna pay you because so, somebody always needs pictures of something. So whether it be product, whether it be an event. You don't have to like photography or love the art of photography to do an event. You just go, you snap pictures and get paid and go home. I've actually met some people that do that. They just do photography for events because they see it's extra money, it's a side hustle. They're not really into the whole editing stuff, so events is easy. You just go take pictures of the events. You're not gonna be editing everybody's face on an event. Yeah, there's no retouching. It's just yeah. you fix the light and that's it. Here you go. So here are your pictures. Um, but what? I don't do photography for that reason. I didn't get into photography for. And we have been going at this forever because people hit me up on my Instagram and they usually tell me, "Oh, can can Darwin do um uh, pictures for my event?" And I'm like, "Let me ask him." You know, at first I would just ask him. I'm like. Sure, maybe he, he'll do it. And then he's like, no, I don't do events. I'm like, but why not? That's like so simple. He's like, no, I don't want to get into events. And at first I didn't really understand it. What? At first I didn't really understand it. I'm just like, okay, it's extra money for us. Like, and it's easy money. Like, why wouldn't you want to do it? But then I understand that he's trying, he's not in it, even though we need the money now because we're trying to pay off debt. We're not that bad financially we're doing great with our debt so he's not really into photography mainly because of the money it brings us money but it's not like he's so desperate for money that he takes any kind of offer when it comes to photography because he feels like he'll lose passion or it's not as fun for him to go shoot an event he doesn't find it interesting or Go give it to Girl. brother. Go give it to brother. Give the ball to brother. He doesn't find a. He doesn't find no interest in doing photography for events. So like, you know. Zouch. Zero. It, not a. I mean, I've gotten so many requests from people. I get hit up for weddings all the time, and weddings is a two thousand dollar event. And now I, I just know to say, you know, no, he doesn't do events. Like he just doesn't. And I get it. I, I respect it now, babe. Oh. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I understand where you're coming from now. Do you? He wants to focus on something that's more editorial, high fashion. He wants to practice his craft and not just go to an event and shoot pictures. It's not the same. It's just not the same. 
And maybe for people that don't do photography, you won't understand, but photographers out there, you know what we're talking about. Events and doing actual like indoor um, magazine type pictures or even outdoor, but for like couples or like uh, a model. It's just not the same as going to an event and just shooting pictures. It's not. So, um, it's... Babe has decided that, what's your focus? What is your focus when it comes to photography? Well, I'm a portrait, I would say I'm a portrait photographer. That's his favorite. I'm a portrait photographer and that's it. I'm a portrait photographer that likes to get creative. I can say, because some portraits I like, you know, taking LinkedIn picture is a, technically a portrait. Um, so you can say um, that's a portrait photographer, but yeah, I just like to try so, different things, and if it works. So it works. I was saying, I'm sorry, I'm cutting off. I had a question <laughs> because I knew that at some point it was gonna get to somebody was gonna come across and want a certain type of pictures, which Possibly. it has happened already. And Babe says he doesn't do these type of pictures. And the type of pictures we're talking about are like nudes and stuff like that. And I said, Babe, but how are you gonna tell them that you don't wanna do their photo shoot because it's that type of photo shoot? Like, how do you tell a person, no, I'm, I'm a photographer, but I'm not gonna do those pictures for Somebody you. who's paying you. So it's like... But why uh, don't you want to do those pictures? Please explain. Because I... So, so the type of... It's not because of me. So we... we no, we <laughs> discussed this already. So like, there's there's types of nude, let's say. Not even nude. Let's just say panty and bra. Mm -hmm. So you have... <laughs> you have your... Your Victoria's Secret that you see everywhere. In panties and bra, you walk in the mall. And you don't look at that picture and say, oh my God, this is like a vulgar. Like, I don't want my kids looking at this. It's true. Now, if you walk in front of a club and you see the flyer and you see a female or male, just like... Posing. Posing in like a seductive, like rated, I, I rated R you, version. You like, mean. you won't see that flyer in a mall. My goal is to eventually work, if I do take this full time, eventually work with big brands. So if I start taking this, it's gonna, my, my brand, Frozen Visuals, is not gonna be viewed how I want it to see. Besides the fact that I do this in my house. And we have and children and sometimes they're around. I have children, I have a wife, and I respect all three of them. Oh. It's just like, <laughs> um, it's just not like. But this isn't me. I honestly asked him the question. I'm sound like, guilty, bro. What do you mean I sound guilty? It's not me. Well, yeah, because I know that certain people or certain women are gonna look at this and they're gonna think, oh, that's the wife trying to control him, and that's not the case. Like, yeah, honestly, this is why I married him, and I generally asked him the question one time. I'm like. Do you want to go that route? Like, what happens when these women, which that's your life, if you want to have these pictures, stripper-like pictures, there's these... there's photographers that do that. Right. Like, there's photog photographers that specialize in those type of, of shoots. Like they they have it down packed. They. That's what that they is, do. Is what they do. Like they build the brand. Like they started with that, and what happened was they that people females or males kept coming to them, kept coming to them, and their whole entire brand became that. So now like a regular person is probably not gonna hit that person up because they're not gonna feel comfortable shooting if, with if them they don't them. look like, you know, like this regular. Barbie yeah. Barbie figure, they're not gonna hit you up. And them people are making money at the end of the day. Like if yeah. they do that for a living, they do make money. It's not bashing any photographer, but is every photographer has what? What they want to what they do. Again, like if you just scroll on Instagram, professional photographers, you're probably gonna see more like editorial and things like that than what you're gonna see like strip posts going like viral and being shared by these big brands because 
these big brands are not gonna attach themselves to vulgar images like that. It's just not gonna happen. So if you see Victoria's Secret, again, you if they are promoting their thong, you're not gonna see a girl freaking bending over to expose the thong. It's just gonna it's be true. like a sensual. It's true, it's like, a different vibe. Yeah. And you can tell, even though they're in sexy clothes, the way they pose, I think the way they pose is what it what makes the difference. Yeah. But not every woman knows. Every woman has their story and, and has a way that they wanna be seen and portrayed. So to each yeah. of their own. Um, but so basically, yeah. Babe came to that conclusion that he doesn't really want to be accepting those people for various reasons. Um, it's, why, it's why I don't And when do... he started talking about it, I was like, you know what, you're right, because we do these shoots in our house. And although most of the time my kids are with, my, with their grandma and so we can focus here, sometimes we keep them here and they're in the room watching TV and we don't want that kind of energy in our home. And it's not even like, if we wanted to, we could just charge more, rent the studio, and do it. But it's just, again, comes back to your brand and what you want to brand yourself as. So if in the future this does become something like my career, I want to be branded and approachable by bigger companies. Makes sense. If at any point um, any of you watching this or are thinking about doing a shoot like that, maybe he's not the person to like contact because he's not into those kind of pictures. Now, if you want to do something creative, something dope, something stylish, something fashionable, and you want to add in- Something for your portfolio. Nice makeup, you know, you can hit us up and we'll hook you up. And that's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was very interesting because I, I we were like, okay, how do, how do you tell a person, if they DM you, how do you tell them, no, I'm not gonna, I can't do your pictures? So, Babe said, no, well. no, so, on like the pricing package, I would say, like towards the bottom, I'll just put like no explicit, explicit nudity. nudity. I think that- It's just a general, Yeah. it's but not again, personal, like, it's not personal. But again, my page, my feed, if you find me, you wouldn't get that vibe from me that I do it because it's not what I post. Mm -hmm. So if I, if I did post them here and there, you'd probably be like, oh, maybe I could hit him up, he'll do it. But since you don't see it on my page at all, you're likely not gonna hit me up for a shoot like that. But just in case, you yeah. had it in mind. Yeah. <laughs> a comment that we got recently too that I think is like important that we talk about, it's like, when, when you started saying that you don't do events, somebody made a comment that it was like, you should just take anything that comes. And although I agreed with that person, at one point I thought that way. I was like, yeah, you should just take anything that comes. That's extra money. It doesn't matter where it is. You, you never know. I think it's actually a good thing that you are very specific and you know what you want. Because sometimes there is so many little um, avenues you can go to with photography, with makeup, anything that has to do with the arts, that if you don't know specifically what you want, what you like, you can get lost and you can just lose your primary vision. And so some people you think- You end up hating it, cause it's like- Yeah, it becomes event, like a job. Like event photographers, like I have friends and they, you know, events usually take place in the weekends. So it's like, it becomes that burden like, you gotta go out on the weekends to take pictures. Yeah. It's just I, like... Yeah, I, I don't think that... Baby, what do you bring me that for? <laughs> I don't think that um, you should take anything that comes. You nope, should nope, nope. know... Don't touch. ...what it is that you want so that people don't confuse you. Unless you're doing it for a living. If you... If, I guess that's, if where, not, that's where... Well, if you're doing this for a living and you don't have... Uh, well, I know people that, that do this for a living and they still stick to what they do and focus on getting better on that because eventually what they perfect and master will become, you know, they'll get their clientele little by little through there. People will reach out. Right. I think it all like depends. Like before, I used to tell her, she used to be like, you're not just going to make money off portraits and stuff like that. And I used to tell her, like, there is portrait photographers. There are people that do it. And I'm getting clients and making money off portrait photography 
Yeah, you were right. You were right. And I think even for makeup artists, sometimes like you can focus like on a certain group of people. Like I like to focus on weddings and sweet fifteens. I think it's my she's, strong. She's point. like a, a, a event photographer. <laughs> What do you mean? Now you like that stuff. Well, yeah, because besides the fact that there is money in that area, I feel like that is my strong point. I am really Careful. good at like makeup, like wedding kind of makeup and sweet 15 and 16 kind of makeup. That's like my niche. Except you're gonna have to extra master like editorial and glittery I makeup. I don't mind doing that. I think I am, I could be just as good doing that, but I, I prefer, I like natural glam. Like that is what I really, really like to do. So that's why I say on my Instagram that I specialize in bridal um, makeup because that, I like that. I, I also like the feeling of like a bride. That is a really special day. Like that's just not any day. So you make them feel like a princess. I like to be a part of that experience. So. And you get to do it early in the morning. So. That is the reason, my friends, why my husband is not doing those kinds of pictures. Um, he has a goal, he has a vision of what he wants his brand and his page to look like. And I'm not the culprit. <laughs> it's not me. It's all her fault. Everything I said was a lie. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Photography is going to start getting interesting. Um, if you don't follow us already on our social media pages, please follow us on Instagram so you can see more of what we're doing photography and makeup wise. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.